Normal maps are used to give bumpiness to the surface of an object. So if I take my bump here and I apply it to the normal map of my uh, test material, then you'll see that it adds bumpiness to the surface of an object. Now it's kind of faking this bumpiness. It's not actually adding any depth. You can see if we look at this, this is still the flat surface of a cube, but it allows us to look like there's some texture there, like it uh, has some, some highs and lows. And to understand how normal maps work, we're gonna start with this black and white image. And the black and white image is kind of like a topographical map. I'll just pop over here. Uh, so a topographical map shows one color for the highest regions, and then as you go to different colors, you get to lower and lower elevations. And that's essentially what we have here, where white is our highest elevation and black is our lowest elevation. So if we think of this image as a topographical map, what we have is we have a kind of a hill that's a cone and then it's flat at the top. And if we take this texture, we can turn it into a normal map by going to normal map and then choosing create from grayscale. And go ahead and hit apply. And from that, it's going to create a nice, and I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can see it. It's gonna create a nice normal map image. Now we had a little bit of, of noisiness in the underlying color, and so that's why you can see all these little flecks and things. Um, so what it's gonna do is for each pixel, and I'm gonna go back to our uh, small version right here, for each pixel, it's gonna try and find the normal at that pixel. And what I mean when I talk about normals, um, a normal is a line that points out of the surface of an object, and it tells us at that point what direction is up. Essentially, what direction is straight out of the object at that point. So you can see, for instance, if we have this approximation of a cylinder, that the normal, as we go around the cylinder, points different directions. And that's kind of what's going on with our hill right here. And when we create this normal map, we encode the directions of our normal. And again, our normal is just this vector, it's this line. And we encode those directions as red, green, and blue. So in this case, we can see um, that when we have the most um, red and green, we're pointing up to the top right. When we have the most red, we're pointing this way. When we have the most green, we're pointing this way. So red plus green plus blue actually corresponds to X, Y, and Z. And if we look at an individual pixel, we can take the red, green, and blue values of that pixel, and we can see what direction is up, what direction is out of the image. And since vectors can point in two different directions, so if we take the X vector as an example, it could point right or left, we have to encode the color so that fully red means fully to the right, whereas no red means fully to the left. So that means that 0.5 red is neutral, neither to the left nor towards the right. And that's why you see this sort of purplish color in the center of the image and around the edges. At those points, the normal is pointing straight up, straight towards us. So the blue value is one, and the red and green values are 0.5, giving us that sort of middle-ish purple. In this case, our normal is pointing kind of up and to the right. In this case, it's pointing down to the left. And that is what then allows us to take our black and white image and apply it, whoops, uh, apply it onto our test material as a normal map. And you can see that it affects how our image is lit. It kind of looks like it has a bit of a hill on it. Um, in this case, I believe I have my tiling set to two by one, so I'll set that back to one by one. And I'm actually just gonna take my light, the brightness down just a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. And again, it's not changing the actual geometry of the object. It's just changing how the object interacts with light. So that's kind of cool. That's something that we can create from black and white images. Or if we have a pre-computed normal map, we can just import it as is. So if I show this in Explorer, we'll see that on disk, this isn't a black and white image. This is something that in another program somewhere like Photoshop or whatever else, we have created a normal map that already has all the colors. And so when we bring that in, we can just mark it as a normal map and then we can use it uh, anywhere in our game.